Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. This one is very, very exciting because I am actually building something that I have wanted to build for a long time. And as you can tell, I've actually tried to like encompass exactly what it is I'm trying to build. And you guys already can tell by the title, but I am making a gamer girl's apartment. A gamer girl's dream apartment, if you will, at least in my opinion. So I thought it was kind of funny, but I wanted to like dress the part and kind of like encompass exactly what it is that I'm building. And you know, I have my cute little like cat ear headphones, just like all those girls that stream and stuff like that. And you will see as I'm building this, I make the kind of like streaming room all pink themed and it basically just like matches my outfit and my cat ear headphones. And if you guys can't tell, I'm like super excited about these. I like just got them um, in the mail not long ago so I just really wanted to wear them in a video and like show them off because this is something I've been wanting for so so long I just love you guys know like pink is my favorite color and and yeah I just everyone wears them and they just look so cute and like I agree like they are so cute and I can't believe that stuff like this actually exists and yeah I'm excited about it but anyways on to the build oh by the way if you guys can't tell I changed like my office setup like I said so we're actually in my bedroom right now here's my lovely bed right here there's my closet all that stuff so I used to be in an office now I'm in a bedroom so that's why the background looks a little bit different but anyways on to the build also let me know what you think of my bedroom I tried to clean it up as best I could because it was really messy um, and if I do start streaming this is where it'll be so let me know down below what you guys think but it's been a while since I've like been on camera I guess I've done a lot of like voiceover only videos and I've really enjoyed doing that um, just because they're a little bit more chill and stuff like that but I do like to get on camera from time to time and hang out with you guys so welcome back me um, but anyways here we are working on the gamer girls gaming streaming office studio whatever you want to call it so pretty much I just put like any cool like pink bright item in this room and kind of laid it out exactly how I think I would want it if I had like a dedicated gaming streaming space this is exactly how I would have laid it out maybe I mean it's kind of small ish but you guys know what I mean so basically I have that like video creator studio thing that came with get famous and it's a place where you can like make videos and stuff like that and it has its little kind of like L-shaped glass desk which is super modern and nice it has like the cameras built in so I love that and then I had the opportunity to finally use that pink gaming chair that I don't remember what pack it came with did it also come with get famous I'm pretty sure so I really want a chair like that in real life that's like one of the next things on my list I guess is to get like a legit gaming chair because I don't have one of those um and then I used that neon pink moschino stuff pack neon sign um i've never really had a practical application for this sign but in this room i thought it would be really cool to have kind of like neon lights because you know in a lot of like streamer um backdrops people have like cool neon lights and like figurines and stuff like that and like mosaic light up tiles on the wall and stuff so I thought that that was kind of like on theme I also used some of the new um, I think they're also from the Moschino stuff pack the cool like lighting stands because when you're like a youtuber and stuff you have like lights and stuff I actually have like a ring light so I'm surprised they didn't add a legit ring light in this pack um, but yeah besides that I just put some different like posters and stuff like posters that look like they're from video games because yeah just like decorations and stuff and then I actually use this bookshelf which is also from the Moschino stuff pack the Moschino stuff pack has some good like modern stuff that would be good for a gaming room apparently but I put that kind of as a backdrop because I know that a lot of youtubers in their backdrop will have like a nice little bookshelf with all of their like trinkets and their figurines and the like their youtube play button and stuff like that and awards and whatnot so i thought it'd be cute to kind of put like a little bookshelf behind just because it looks exactly like the type of bookshelves that are behind like every youtuber and streamer um streamers backdrop and stuff um 
but besides that i just had so so much fun building this room you guys i just got to like put all this cool like colorful fun decorations that i don't usually get to use in normal like traditional builds like family homes that i've been usually making you know my classic modern farmhouses and stuff so this is a chance for me to actually just kind of go all out and just do like something fun that i've been wanting to do for a while and also kind of build something that i want personally like i would love to have a legit gaming office studio like this so as you can see i had some extra space in the back of the office so what i thought would be cool is to put kind of like a nice little living room area so when you're not you know streaming on your pc it's also a place that you can come in and just like game on your console on your xbox on your switch whatever with a nice flat screen tv so it's pretty much just like the ideal like gamers cave um and yeah i just had so much fun putting making it all pink and girly um obviously it might not be everybody's taste but personally i love pink as you guys know so i just made it something like how something that i would want so if i had like a dedicated room for gaming i would maybe actually want a pink couch like not gonna lie even though i wouldn't want a pink couch in my like main living area i honestly would consider it for a like all out room like this so super super fun also put those little like what are they called they're like little surfboards or skateboard things on the wall there I just thought the colors were so fun um, and it really added like some nice decoration and it honestly I don't think I would ever use those that decoration in another room maybe like a kid's bedroom or something but I just thought that it really went well in uh, this room and it was at this point or no it's not at this point but one thing I did forget but I eventually do add is a mini fridge <laughs> um, that's like gamer room goals is to have like a mini fridge in the office so that you don't have to get up walk 10 feet to your kitchen to get a drink instead you can just have like a nice ginger ale right by your desk because who wants to get up especially when you're gaming right we don't have time to get up we have to sit at our desk all the time um but yeah i feel like having mini fridges and offices is such like a extra like unnecessary thing it's just like such a novelty but you know nonetheless you gotta have it in your dream gaming studio you need to have a mini fridge so i was really excited that one of them came in pink from the discovery university pack um and i decided to put that in um but yeah pretty much i'm just trying to like at this point make the room look as like extra as possible i didn't want it to look like your typical home office um that you know just any average person would have like this specifically had to be like your stereotypical gamer girl <laughs> office studio i don't know why i don't know how many times i've said gamer girl at this point so it's probably super annoying sorry but yeah i've just had a lot of fun um you guys know that i recently got all of the new packs um so i have noticed a lot of new items in the catalog but i've just been looking for an opportunity to use them so i thought that a fun build like this would definitely be a good opportunity for me to you know explore these items and kind of have fun with it um, one thing you see i did do i put those little like uh sh what is it kind of like paint they're not paintings they're from city living i have a, a white one and a kind of bronzy looking one i sized them down and kind of made them look as if they were like youtube play buttons you know when you hit like 10 mil or like 1 mil or 100k subs youtube sends you like this little play button so i kind of mimicked that and like made it look like those little decorations were play buttons kind of like you're displaying them because this person has like passed 100,000 or a million subscribers or something like that so i thought that was kind of cute and you might notice that there is like a second computer in there um i just thought it would be a nice idea if like this person has friends over and they both want to play you know games one person can be streaming one person can be on the other computer like editing or something and then some people can be at the tv just like on the couch playing video games so it's just like a complete gamer cave which i love um i also put like some makeup and stuff like that 
just because you know if you're gonna go on stream like maybe you have to like make sure your hair looks good and stuff like that i don't really know you guys you guys know the deal um but pretty much the gamer room is done so i can stop saying the word gamer now i won't say it anymore we're done with that part but as you can see it's kind of like sectioned off in the back of the apartment and this apartment actually is like fully functional um it has one bedroom and one bathroom and i did kind of like a cool trick here where instead of like closing off the door and like making it its own separate room and bedroom i kind of just like use this curtain to kind of make it look like you can just close the curtain and that's kind of like a door um the reason i did this actually is because the wall wouldn't cut off or i wanted it to cut off if you know what i mean um because if i had filled the wall to the end it would have like cut off the window and with city living you can't edit the windows and their placement so i thought it was a good alternative to kind of just like put this beam across and then put the curtain um method to kind of close off the wall instead because it looked a little bit more natural than actually putting a full wall if you guys know what i mean um but here you can see i'm just basically doing the bathroom um you guys know bathrooms aren't you know my most excite aren't the most exciting thing to watch um this bathroom actually i do kind of like how it turns out i just the color scheme is kind of cool and interesting i've never done anything like this again i'm using the the what is it called? A wallpaper from, I think it's called Spa Day. You guys, Spa Day, do not sleep on Spa Day, you guys. Spa Day has good wallpaper and good flooring. If you like doing kind of modern, contemporary, or even, you know, classic homes um, that have like a kind of elevated style, uh, Spa Day has a lot of really good wallpapers and a lot of good like plain wallpapers because I don't know about you guys, but I like really neutral things. I like... Um, a lot of white color schemes and neutral color schemes with a pop of color but sometimes you don't want to just put like a plain white wallpaper so spot eye has some good wallpapers that have texture to them but are still neutral so you can have that neutral wall but give it texture or is it dine out oh no do I not know which pack my favorite wallpapers are from? Maybe it's Dine Out or Spa Day. Whichever ones I'm using here, I think one of them might be Dine Out, one of them might be Spa Day, if I'm not, if I'm gonna be honest. So yeah, don't sleep on any of those packs. I think the game packs actually have some good stuff, but but yeah. So anyways, here you can see I'm doing the kitchen, and the kitchen was. I mean, it, it was kind of a weird shape. I obviously didn't have a lot of space to work with. By the way, if you guys didn't realize, this was Penny Pizzazz's apartment that I demolished and made into my gamer heaven. Um, but yeah, it's kind of an interesting floor plan, interesting shape. I've never really done an apartment this shape before, but I do kind of like how it turned out. The main living area and kitchen area is kind of like open concept and skinny. And then you kind of turn the corner around to the bedroom and like the gamer studio. So it is an interesting layout. I do really like it actually. And it's quite cozy. And the fact is there's... It feels kind of big but small at the same time. Like if you think about how many rooms there are and how functional the space is in such a tiny little floor plan, I think that we actually did accomplish quite a lot here. Um, but here you can see I'm using the same cabinets that I've used in my past three videos, if I'm gonna be honest. I'm a little bit obsessed with these cabinets. I think they're the ones from Parent... No. I need to... I need to like figure out where these items are from that's the thing i got all the packs all at once and i have no idea where any of the items come from i'm so sorry i need to actually like mentally take note of it i said i was gonna do it last time and i just haven't i've just been in like builders heaven just like being creative and just building all these things and i need to start like actually learning about what items i'm using but anyways i've repeated those cabinets a lot i just like how modern they are and i like how they're glass and yeah they're just they're nice nice cabinets but here you can see we're doing the living room and the living room is very very small it's right where you walk in um, which isn't necessarily ideal but it's also kind of natural feeling if you know what i mean um it's it never hurts to walk into a small apartment right into the living room because you know if imagine there's like people there playing games and like having a little party and you walk in and there's people sitting on the couch right there it's like hello 
welcome to the party if you know what I mean um but I did use that like leopard print rug which is semi questionable I've never used that rug in my life but then I thought about the sim who would live here and maybe the type of personality she is you know she's very creative she's very like energetic and she wouldn't want like a boring neutral sophisticated rug she'd want something fun and fresh and just something that expresses her personality um so I thought that this leopard print rug it was the perfect opportunity to use it in this build also considering how bright and fun the gamer room was I didn't want the rest of the apartment to just look bland and neutral and modern um I wanted it to still kind of look colorful and still you know be up to the same level of like funness if you know what I mean um funness probably isn't a word but that's fine um but here you can see I'm basically just you know putting in some decorations and cluttering it up again this is where I kind of am struggling because I am reverting back to my normal furnishing style of making it just like modern and neutral but I'm really trying to, you know, push it a little bit further to make it more fun and, and bright and, and girly in a sense. So that's kind of the, the struggle I had with this build is once I finished that office, I was like, this is it. Like, this is the office. This is my dream office. This was the whole inspiration behind the whole build. But then I thought, you know, do I want to make the entire home pink and kind of obnoxious and fun and, and neon and I thought you know what no because most I feel like this is my opinion most you know youtubers or streamers they'll have like a really nice neon like obnoxious streaming room but the rest of their home isn't gonna look like that like the rest of their home is just gonna look normal so I kind of had to have that in mind when I was doing this build. But also, I just want to say, see that huge giant plant that I use behind the sofa? Isn't that plant just like amazing? I mean, it's so big and like leafy and I feel like we need more plants like that in the game. A lot of the plants we have are just very like small and skinny and don't take up that much space or they're like take up a lot of space but they're too short to like put on the floor i feel like we need more like statement plants like ones that are tall but also like very leafy and are meant for indoors because i really like the look of having like a big plant um in your living room that's kind of like a statement instead of just like these small skinny ones that we have um but yeah i just we we need more plants. We always need more plants. Can You can never have too many plants. And also, have you guys seen the community voted stuff pack? We get to choose all of the items or vote on all of the items based on some of the concept art that the concept artists have um, like put out and we can like choose it. And I was looking at the items like, oh my gosh, like some of the stuff looks so, so cool. Um, I wasn't super hyped on the pack that was voted it was like knitting and crafts and stuff like that um but i also i'm not super picky as you guys know but then after i saw the concept art come out i was like i think it's gonna be good i think it's gonna be super fun and you know i'm generally pretty excited about it i know stuff packs aren't like a huge deal because it's just stuff it's not like it's gonna add any like revolutionary features to the game but the mosquito stuff pack was pretty good in my opinion like i like the stuff that it came with and i i still use it all the time so i think that this new community voted stuff pack is also going to be really really good so i'm excited about that but you guys let me know down below what you guys think of it did you guys vote are you guys gonna vote you guys should exercise your voting rights and go vote on the community stuff pack but yeah i'm definitely going to be voting and i will let you guys know if any of my votes end up in the final pack um but here you can see i am back to doing the bedroom the living area is pretty much done so the bedroom was pretty simple i felt like the bedroom didn't need a whole lot of like stuff just because i feel like this person spends most of their time in that office if you guys 
agree um if i lived here i would definitely spend like my whole life in that office and you would just kind of use the bedroom for sleeping so i just put like a little mirror a little clothing rack um and just kept it very open and simple especially since it's very like open concept in a way um i didn't want it to be too cluttered and yeah i did i generally like really like the vibe of of it here um but what was i gonna say I was gonna say something. I totally lost my train of thought. Um, yeah, I can't remember what I was gonna say. Oh, the piano. <laughs> so the piano, I was debating whether to put that or not, but I figured like this person is really creative and you know they're into gaming, but they also really love music. So in their spare time, um, they also like to you know play the piano and explore that creativity and they do that like off camera so I thought that it was kind of cool um, to incorporate their other hobbies into their life because sometimes I feel like maybe if you're on social media or you're a streamer people think like your whole life is you know playing video games and streaming but like in reality a lot of people will have hobbies and things they love to do and things that they do do but is completely outside of what they share on the internet um and you know i feel like that just goes without saying for like everybody like you don't share every single thing with everybody so there's always things that we like to do in our spare time that nobody knows about like for me i don't know what do i like to do that you guys don't know about um i really like stationery i don't know if you guys knew that i like i love agenda like writing in an agenda i like i have a sticker collection i have like a pen collection with like tons of colors and i just like love planning and writing stuff down in pretty colors and like i collect stickers and all that stuff it's super weird but actually it's not that weird let's be honest it's pretty cool um but yeah that's something i love doing and i just like sit on my desk in my spare time and like for 30 to 45 minutes i'll just write about what i did that day and write what i'm doing next week and and plan my videos and i i just like love doing that for some reason but yeah maybe that's something you guys didn't know about me um feel free to share a fact with me um something that i don't know about you so let's get to know each other um but pretty much the video is done now the screenshot should be rolling um i hope you guys like it i really like how it turned out i thought it was pretty cool and it was nice to do an apartment build for once and not have to focus on the exterior and actually just express my creativity for an interior so i hope you guys liked it this is available on the gallery a lot of you guys do ask me my origin id is dr underscore ashley but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy it don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and leave a comment down below what you thought about it and if this is our first time meeting don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to be friends or if you want to see more sims 4 videos i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys all in my next video bye everybody